the next topic is also very basic about this uh, file formats honestly now the first very first topic about the file format so suppose if you talk about this ms office or autocad or any software you'll find this file format na? for example if i say dot dwg everyone know what is dwg it's a file format right. for yeah, okay. cat file na? similarly dot doc you know it's a word okay. file in the same way for revit we have this extension we have this file formats the first you see on screen this is dot rvt and what is rvt this is for revit project file project file means i'm not talking about only for this building services including the structural and architectural project because uh, the structural 3d intelligent building including architectural plus this building services for all the file format uh, for the project is same which is uh, dot rvt remember this and next at the time of starting the project we require a template file again uh, i can take example or i can take the reference of autocad in autocad we used to take template file and what is template file uh, if you don't have the idea about the template file don't worry the first exercise is related to creating template file only just give me uh, give me the quick idea template file is a file consists of the settings say common settings which can be inserted in the project to save time for example all the time will not do the basic settings whenever you get the project so we'll create a, a particular file with the settings which is a common settings as per the location as per the project type even as per the client for example example if you are concerned in getting the project uh, continuously from one client so for that client you can prepare a template so when you get the project from that template sorry from that client you can use that ready made template to save the time okay but don't worry the more about this template file uh, we'll discuss we have a separate topic so at the time of creating template file the file extension for the template file is .rt so this rt file is a template file and can be inserted in the project file nothing but rvt we'll discuss don't worry next we have dot rfa revit family file remember in revit family refers to 3d intelligent component family refers to 3d intelligent component why we are calling family for example uh, a diffuser a 3d intelligent component say diffuser with the different sizes so i can say diffuser family for example ahu with the different uh, capacities i can call ahu family similarly light fixture with the different sizes or with the different uh, capacities of uh, say lux level or fc level what you can call uh, this light fixture family so there's a reason in revit to the for 3d intelligent component we used to call family we'll find the different families for different component as per the service as per the system okay so whenever i use the term family it means i'm talking about a 3d intelligent component and not just 3d component i'm talking about 3d intelligent component how exactly the 3d intelligent component we'll discuss when we use this component in the project okay next we have dot rft Achha, before this dot uh, rfa file file format for family file if required we can create our own components if required if you are if you are dealing with the 2020 or 2019 or 2021 so we are dealing with the 2022 so you'll find almost all the 3d intelligent component from the autodesk means almost all the categories in the previous version the family components were limited but in the latest version you can find the maximum options so if you want to create your own from the existing the task is very simple for example if you want to create uh, your own required capacity age suppose 20 tr is available but you're interested to create say 23 tr which is from your vendor for example we can take that 20 tr which is available from autodesk and we'll simply update the parameter values not the parameter parameter values like dimensions flow rate and all and we'll and we can create the new from the existing creating new from the existing is very simple task but creating from the scratch is the lengthy task like dealing with the component design so as a mechanical uh, you can relate this point if you know this pro e cat here in that we are dealing with the 3d con this uh, component designing so the family is related to the component so that is a separate topic for that and uh, it's, diff it's different uh, compared with the project so it's out of the project if you want uh, if you want new capacity component from the existing you can create very easily but if you want to create a new category that required a lot of information complete information from the vendor for complete dimensions complete properties and need to create the plane so it's somewhat difficult it's different uh, it's related to the component designing so it's out of the project project means i'm talking about the system design okay so when you want to create your own template this family file so the file extension is dot rfa and at the time of creating a family file we required the template like you see in order to create a new project we are using this template file similarly in order to create this uh, new component we can use this family template file in that you'll find uh, some ready-made settings from autodesk so initially we'll use the template for the project for the families from autodesk itself and if you want you can create your own using the default 
and the first exercise related to creating the template file only for the project and it's very very basic may ask an interview it's very basic so you must aware of this file extensions or file formats okay next let me continue with one more this uh, let me continue with one more point related to bim here you see in bim you'll find this terminology or you can say the language in bim here dimensions everyone know this 1d or let me start with 0d what is 0d 0d is a point na? and 1d is what 1d is a line 2d you can call area and 3d is what volume length width and height or xyz so up to 3d everyone aware of this right as an engineer you know what is up to 3d but here what is 4d or 5d up to 7d so practically we don't have the fourth dimension practically we don't have up to the seven dimensions this dimensions or this language you will find in bim bim concept 4d means 3d means uh, 3d plus the project scheduling it means 3d means 3d intelligent component means uh, the intelligent building or in the intelligent uh, building services plus project scheduling so the scheduling in BIM, BIM terminology we used to call 4d the project state uh, stage at 4d means it is under scheduling similarly if i say 5d 5d is what 4d plus estimation hmm, project estimation and 6d refers to what 5d plus sustainability that uh, lead green building value engineering etc then 7d is what 6d plus the project maintenance putting the life cycle of the project and uh, this is also very basic and let me add one more uh, image with this this is also important you see lod is a level of development or detail this is a very common terminology used in the bim concept and this will use uh, this may be used in your projects for the different stages you see lod 100 means so concept design stage lod 200 means the initial st the stage of uh, design after getting the approval for the concept next lod 300 is for tender design you'll find the information also you know as you are working in, in a consultants you're already aware of the stages but here we are presenting with the lod's with the number lod 300 say lod 2 uh, 350 is for good for construction uh when say if next lod 400 to 450 construction documents on site and lod 500 is for as built or below that also you can find out here you see 1d is a length 2d 3d 4d 4d is what 3d plus time means scheduling 5d is what 4d plus this costing 6d is what 5d plus analysis and 7d is what 6d plus operation and maintenance so especially this lod these numbers are important this represent uh, the stage uh, of the project level of detailing or level of uh, de development 